Hello, this is David Mandel once again, and welcome to week three of CIS 240L Linux configuration and installation in the summer of uh, 2012. Okay, this week we're going to be doing chapter six and uh, lab six. Uh, let's review where we are here. Uh, last week we did quiz one, and um, uh, quiz one is done, and it has uh, it, it closed Sunday night. I've looked at the grades; they look very good. I'm very pleased with it. Quiz two is open this week, and um, it will close Sunday night once again, um, and. Um, and then from then on, we're going to go to a quiz every other week. And uh, things will be a little more sane than they have been. We'll be doing one lab a week. We'll be doing a quiz every other week. Um, you've now done labs one through five, and I am madly grading labs. I've got a lot of grading to do, as you had a lot of work to do. And um, I'm uh, actually, I'm in the beginning of that. I've got a lot of grading to do. Uh, that's what I'm doing full time right now. And um, for next week, we will have Lab 6, and it's Chapter 6. And I don't have my book. I forget what this is on. But, um, but that's OK. It doesn't matter. Besides, I'll be seeing you at class tomorrow night, and we can discuss it there. Uh, of course, our classes are largely labs because we've got the lectures as videos online. The um, other thing I want to talk about a little bit is let's go to Caligator because all of you for Lab 12 are supposed to go to an open source event and report on it. So let's see what's going on in the um, Portland area, Oregon. Southwest Washington in the next week here. Um, let's take a look at uh, our friend Caligator.org, just, spelled just the way it sounds, which is our local event calendar. It says that we have a um, um, online startup camp this week um, on Friday. We have a uh, Drupal training. I don't know what that's about. That's, I assume that that's a paid event. Um, Chick Tech meeting. Um, Android enthusi uh, um, enthusiast group. Well, anyway, and it goes on um, and on. And a Drupal user group meeting. Over the weekend, there's a couple interesting events here. The one is uh, the Plug uh, Portland Linux Unix Group uh, Linux Clinic. If you're having any trouble with your hardware or software or installations, go in and talk to the people at the Linux Clinic. That's a great place to go. The other thing, the big event in Portland next week is OSCON. O'Reilly's Open Source Conference, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But it's an expensive event, except there are a lot of cheap events that surround the Open Source Conference. So just because you can't afford the $1,500 to go to the conference, um, don't feel like you're entirely excluded. There's um, uh, the first weekend, next weekend, what it begins with is something called the Community Leadership Conference. This is an event uh, put on by John O. Bacon, as in um, John O. works for um, um, Ubuntu. And he's been putting on an open uh, community leadership summit uh, for several years now. and. Um, uh, the weekend before OSCON at the Oregon Convention Center. It's free for anybody to attend. Um, a lot of people that attend have a lot of experience in open source or in running open source groups, user groups, uh, foundations, uh, the Apache people. 
But other people come just from the community. And I really highly recommend going to that. I will most likely be there. My, well, I will be there myself, most likely all for the entire event, um, except maybe for some breakouts where um, some of us people from major foundations get together. Um, but that's a cool event. That would be an ideal thing to report on for um, um, for Lab 12. The other thing is the open source conference itself, O'Reilly Open Source Conference. As I say, there are a lot of less expensive things surrounding the conference. Um, O'Reilly's always been, um, in the past, they used to let people get into the exhibit hall free of charge. The last year and this year, I think they're charging about $25 for that. It's well worth the $25. Um, you can see an awful lot of things for that money. Also, the nighttime sessions are open, the birds of the feather sessions um, to everybody or everybody paying the $25. Um, and un unfortunately, I couldn't announce this ahead of time because the class hadn't started yet. But if you signed up way early, they'd let you in for free. Um, However, at this date, ISIS, well, actually, it says right here, come to OSCON for free. I don't know what that is, but um, I'll let you read about it. Uh, if you don't have the budget to attend OSCON but still want to be there and be part of the community, register with a discount code of free expo to get your free expo pass, a $25 value. And this gets, well, there you go. So you can get in free of charge. Um, and um, and it really is a good thing to go. There's a lot of vendors there. There's a lot of open source groups. Um, oh, Free Geek will be there, I think. Um, um, a plug will be there. Um, maybe Ubuntu, um, open source initiative. There's all sorts of open, all sorts of um, nonprofit groups will be there. And then there's a lot of commercial companies that will be there. Um, ESRI, well, here's a list of them down here of their premium sponsors. Uh, HP, Citrix, um, Google, OpenStack, um, Facebook, Intel. Uh, VMware, well, there's, you know, there's slugs of them. Puppet Labs, that's local. Rintech, or, yeah, Rintech, that's local. Silicon Mechanics, that's out of Seattle. Um, Linbit, I don't remember where that's out of. Um, okay. And um, Rackspace will be there. That's a big company. Yeah. Um, Anyway, uh, it's just totally cool. I I couldn't recommend it higher. It's 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 a marvelous event. Okay, that's about everything I had to say. I guess I'll um, take one moment here to describe what I've been doing over the week. I've been rewiring part of my home, uh, mostly outside my house, wire, uh, stringing wires into some of my sheds, uh, stringing wires around the house. And uh, both electrical wires, and, but mostly uh, um, Ethernet wires. I've been using wireless in a lot of places where the signal is kind of iffy. And um, so it, because the signal is a little iffy, I've decided to replace a lot of those with real wires, especially because the one building I want to put several servers in, and, um, and I need um, um, I just need a more reliable connection there. So uh, in light of that, I've been stringing a lot of wire. I've actually used outdoor Cat5. You can buy wire at some place like Home Depot that is designed for outdoor usage. Part of it is buried line. And you just bury the wire in the ground. It's, it's, um, it's protected well enough that you don't need to put it into anything. Um, bury it a foot, two feet, three feet under the ground. Well, I was digging it by hand, so a foot is plenty deep. Um, 
also, um, but then you've got to make the connectors at the end. And uh, that's been, that always gives me a fit. The first couple times, I, every time I do that, the first couple tries, I get them all goofed up and the connections aren't good and whatnot. And then after you get to making them, you can turn them out really quick and easy and, and it's all slick and then you don't make another one for two years and you have to go through the whole procedure again. But anyway, that's been my fun um, this week which has been kind of okay because it's been hot and and uh, that's, well, other than the digging of a ditch, but I did that during the winter. Um, you know, my background is moving here. That's because my dog is down here. So um, I'd better sign off now. Bye-bye. Mm,